Okay, so before I start talking about anything, uh, if you just want to skip this part and go to the gameplay, to the replay, uh, I'll put a timestamp when the replay starts, so if you want to skip this talking part, skip right there. So if you decided to stay right here, what we're talking about is the high explosive shell changes that Wargaming are planning to do. Uh, they're already on the sandbox. I could I'd have the sandbox server. I would have to update it and everything, but uh, That seems like a lot of work uh, So what are they doing? Why are they rebalancing HE shells? anyway, so they're saying that Because they were already changing the uh, The AP and the APCR and you know premium rounds or special rounds as they call it right here um, they are saying that they want to change HE as well. Okay, so what are they changing? Uh, because I didn't have any problems really with HE shells. Uh, right now, I actually really like how HE shells works. HE shells work right now. So let's see. Uh, moving forward, changes. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, you can try the new changes. Yes. Okay. And uh, also very important right here big important part here that they're only testing the mechanics for normal HE not not for t not for artillery and for hash okay so you can still do a thousand eight hundred damage with the heavy two one what, what the hell that tier 10 stupid <laughs> British tank destroyers you can still do one shots okay so that's out of the way so they're just saying how HE shells actually work um, if the armor is penetrated, if it is not, and stuff like that. That's currently how the HE work right here. Uh, so first, uh, it hits the armor. It's calculated uh, where the armor is. If it's penetrated, if it's not, then it's calculated where the like the nearest weak spot is and then how much damage it does from the thickness and something like that I'm not exactly sure how it works but uh, from the thickness of the armor it kinda calculates how much it's gonna do basically uh, so what are the current issues we have a perfect uh, title here okay so our players rarely use high explosive shells as standard ammo for reliability dealing damage okay let's just talk about that for a second uh i'm not sure what they mean here but loading he for like artillery glass cannons i feel like is pretty normal it's quite common for people to load he against like a driller against a waffenträger or something like that it's normal to use HE and for artillery as well except British because they have armor right so I feel like that is a bit a bit of a weird statement but yes if you constantly spam HE you're not gonna do as much damage and your DPM is gonna go way lower uh, as it would normally be right okay uh, with calibers 150 and above I do not agree with that either I think when you get to the 120 mark and even some 105 millimeters can do nice HE damage when you just have uh, like a type 4 heavy and you just want to spam HE at him it's really funny because or some other side scraping tank right that you can't pen just shoot HE at him and piss him off a little bit right it's funny sometimes okay so for lower and medium ones HE shells are often used to what reset the base capture progress Yes, that is a really good thing to do, and I sometimes, if necessary, do that. Although you can also just track or shoot people's tracks and that just damage the track and already reset the base. But it's also nice to have some HE for resetting. I agree with that. Finish off an enemy low on HP. Yes, that is true. Deal damage in situation where it's impossible with other shell types. Yeah, but there's never gonna be really in a situation where you can't really just spam golden enemies right so that still seems the number one solution so I do this I do this because I don't want to pay for APCR and stuff like that I don't really feel like it's fair but whatever 
Um, okay. Uh, the effectiveness of HE shells on medium and small calibers is very low. I agree with that. Uh, if you shoot something that has a lot of armor with like a 75mm, you're not gonna do anything. Uh, okay, given of above, the main goal of the changes for us is to balance the effectiveness of high explosive shells for all guns and calibers existing in our game. We want to reduce the amount of total and alpha damage on the high calibers uh, and above and to improve the HE shells of lower. Okay, I don't have any problems with the big guns, right? I don't have any problems. I just make good use of it and frankly I think that someone is getting himself in a worse position if he starts shooting HE because he lowers his DPM by t quite a lot. Uh, with that, for example, you have 750 alpha like a T95 or Object 704 or ISU and if you shoot HE you're gonna be do like 300 probably which is like more than twice times less so your DPM might go from like 3k to one and a half right so I don't feel like that's a issue at all uh, but I like to in uh, to improve performance on HE shells and lower calibers I like that that seems pretty cool okay high explosive shells armor penetration removal what what the hell is this supposed to mean yeah, that's right, we want to completely remove the ability to penetrate armor with HE shells. Good, let's remove even more realistic things from the game. The, the game is not realistic anyway, and historically accurate anymore. Yeah, let's just remove HE pen, that seems really freaking cool. Cool, we just might move on to War Thunder, right? Anyway, let's see what they're saying. Okay, initially, high for the shells had the characteristic characteristics to simulate HE damage mechanics in a more realistic way. But I start above, HE shells and world tanks are almost never used for reliably dealing damage. Yes, because you're not supposed to use HE, you're not supposed to spam HE, it's supposed to be used against thin armored targets or really thick armored targets. That's the point of HE. I don't get what this is wrong. Uh, even with a skillful aim, penetrating and inflicting huge damage is not guaranteed. If you're shooting uh, like a scorpion with 20 millimeters of armor and you have like 50 on HE. I don't know how that is not a guaranteed pen. I'm sorry, but what the hell is that supposed to mean? We want to avoid a huge spread in the final value of damage when players cannot predict whether they will inflict a normal value of damage or a third of it or no damage at all. Okay, if you're shooting a T95 and 350 uh, millimeter armor plate and you shoot HE at it, yeah, it's probably not gonna do anything. That should seem normal. That's why you shoot at like the tracks with HE or underneath other tanks with HE and stuff like that, right? Not just completely make potato players gonna be better. Anyway, so that's a weird thing to do. Anyway, number two, changing the mechanics. Uh, yeah, so this is basically they're changing how the HE is gonna work. I'm not really I don't really understand how the hell this works, but whatever nominal damage reduction Look at this freaking Table whatever look at this 76 millimeter old value this Goes down to this. Okay. I mean this never really made anything right into except if you shot some really thin armored um really thin armored low tier tank right anyway let's go 90 millimeter 105 this is where the things start right this is the m4 sherman this is the panzer 4 this is a lot of derp guns are this right or the kv1s has 122 this thing a panzer 4 is gonna do 130 to 180 of M4 Sherman is gonna do this on average. That's just dumb. Like the point of their guns is to have a good chance of penetrating an enemy target because of the good pen on HE shells, right? This is really dumb. Oh, by the way, uh, 183 millimeters. Yeah, it goes down to 480. That's absolutely useless when you have to reload for 30 seconds. So they're basically lowering the damage of HE shells, but they want to make them more effective at causing damage. Okay, that makes no sense. Anyway, damage decreases from the center of the splash. Whatever, right? Uh, changing the tracing algorithm. Okay, whatever. Uh, this is all how 
it works and you can read this if you want. Uh, we are not interested in that. What will happen to HE shells after the changes take effect? HE shells will do less damage on average per shot. Okay, minus 75%. Cool, always like to see that. HE shells will do less critical damage. Also, what the hell is that supposed to mean? Like, that's the point of HE shells as well. It's to hurt very um, uh, well armored tanks and very n not armored tanks and to just slam HE to kind of take out the crew members and stuff like that. Okay, yeah, you're not even gonna damage anything in the tank. Cool. There will be virtually no cases where the damage doesn't occur. Okay, I mean, so now you're literally pushing uh, people to just spam HE into people with armor. So you're basically making APCR and heat and stuff like that to just destroy the point of armor in the game. Okay, anyway, HE shells will expand their scope of use. Now they will be affected not at large, but also at small and medium calibers. I like that. I think that's cool, right? But not in the way that they're doing it. Weakly armored vehicles will no longer receive such enormous damage from penetration. They will still take no more damage than heavily armored tanks, but not, not three times more. Yeah, they're not gonna take three times more, they're just gonna take... What is that even? 5% more? What the hell is that? Jesus. Okay. How do we see the use of reworked HE shells? Okay, let's see what uh, it's gonna happen now with the uh, changes. Resetting base capture progress. Now the chance to reset the capture is much higher. Ah, uh, why? This is already a thing. This is already happening in the game. Finishing off opponents low on HP. This is literally what they already said up here. This is literally the same thing as I said here. Reset the base capture. Finish off an enemy low, uh, low on HP. What? Immobilizing enemy vehicles. That's already that. For the reworked HE rounds, the chance of threatening or damaging an external module is higher. Okay. I'm sorry, but look what the hell you wrote here. HE shells will do less critical damage to internal and external modules and crew members. Okay, so you're telling me it's gonna be easier to immobilize enemy vehicles because of the higher chance of doing a crit hit, but you're also telling me that you won't be able to crit hit. Okay, so you're telling me that... I don't know what the hell they're telling us. Just think about the tanks that are gonna be basically sh destroyed by this change. First of all, KV-2, right? KV-2, you know, derp gun tanks like the M4 Sherman, the Panzer IV, the Alecto, the Hetzer, all of that stuff is gonna be dead, right? Go back to using your stupid 75 millimeters on those tanks. Another thing, you remember what happened with wheeled light tanks? Wheeled light tanks got really bad DPM because of everything they got good for them, which is also really good <laughs> freaking um, HE pen. Guess where that's going? It's going into zero pen. So wheeled tanks are also gonna get worse. I mean, they're pretty dang good already, so maybe they needed a nerf but it was so unique wheel tanks were so something different something new uh, you had to sacrifice the dpm to get uh, the speed and to get nice he shells you can use to counter enemy normal light tanks right so before they managed to absolutely wreck the he shells we have a replay a very nice replay of panzer 4 that i was talking is gonna be basically destroyed so let's see how a Panzer IV actually works right now before it changes. Okay, so here we are in the Panzer IV, as I said. Uh, you'll see why I'm showing this replay. I'm showing this replay to show you what they are meaning to remove. I'll show you why this tank is actually as good as it is. So we're on Tundra right now. And I'm going on the hill. And as you will see, very quickly, we will find someone. I, I shoot very quickly, but I don't hit, of course. Like, you're not gonna hit that. Now, as you can see, I'm going to the bush, but I turn here. 
And now he thinks I'm in the bush and he keeps shooting there. Uh. And now, after a little bit, I think, okay, we can go forward now because he's probably not there. Clutch a shot into him. 357 damage plus a fire. Get rebalanced, stupid T67 OP tank. Look at that. That was a, like a really freaking good player as well. Got absolutely shredded. Okay, so as you can see, there's like literally no one here. Uh, literally no one uh, from their team went on the hill. So we kind of have this in the back. So I notice on my right, the T67 is actually getting really destroyed right now. And I noticed that a T67 killed him. So there's got to be a Jackson and a T67 over there. So I slowly go in the bush. Jackson's not fire. I fire anyway. I'm pretty sure that hit. Uh, well, I can tell you that that did hit. But I was pretty sure at this point in the game that that hit. And by the way, the damage cost is 360 right now, which is already yellow, which means about in the a thousand plus WNA this is really good now look at this T67 boom 355 damage in with the changes I would be doing about a hundred now and I would I literally shot a steel plate with HE shells with the penetration of 53 like, a big ass shell went into a turret of a T-67 and pent him. And they think they're planning to remove it. Oh yeah, look at the Jackson. That thing is freaking gone. Penetrated, done 245 damage. And you wouldn't be able to do that anymore. We're up to 1000 damage. And you would never do that with the new changes. Right now I would be up to 300 maybe. I just do a random shot there that was never gonna hit look at that I made three shots three shots and 1k damage that is insane right and they're planning to remove that this is really freaking fun dirt guns are really fun oh yeah by the way goodbye Swedish fella 171 penetrating shot I mean probably a penetrating shot I think a non penetrating shot would probably not do 171. Anyway. What's happening now? I'm actually realizing. Hey, look at my mission. I can do the, the incinerator mission right now. I've been doing this mission for ages now. By the way. Look at the left now. Look at the T67. Down there. That guy is actually right there. I thought he's behind the thing. I shoot him. 96 damage. That might have been a good roll with the new update so we've done a thousand two hundred damage with five shots in a tier four tank five tanks sorry and I'm now just waiting for the artillery because I really want to get the artillery to get enough damage to do the incinerator mi mission which I've been doing for a long time but there it is am I gonna hit it of course not RNG at its finest uh, and that's it that's it they're planning on removing such fun tanks as this right here and it's really stupid I do not understand there was a problem with AP they weren't really as competitive as the premium rounds and they were changing those two but H was totally fine no one had a problem I don't think anyone could name if they had to name 10 problems in World of Tanks that, that would be nice to be fixed, it would not be HE shells because they do not need a change. And we need to tell Wargaming that the HE shells are perfectly fine as they are and they're gonna ruin the fun for the derp gun tanks and we need to tell them if they even listen or not because we don't want the KV-2 to be a boring ass tank, okay? So, this video is really long already, I'm just saying, go tell Wargaming that this is a stupid change.